Hey, party people. What's up? Do you guys like my new glasses? My other ones got scratched up finally. This is my backup pair. Today, we are going to the cliff dwellings here at Bandelier National Park. Yep, and take the fray trail from the RV park from the loop we're in. It says it's like a one and a half mile hike, but it's down the cliff side. So down's always not too bad, but we'll have to come back up later too. <laughs> it should, uh, that's not a big hike, so uh, yeah. we'll be okay. I'm excited. Yeah, we can get down there and maybe have time to just grab a bite to eat at the visitor center restaurant uh, yeah. too, maybe. Yeah. Maybe a little treat. So I'm excited. just realized I forgot my wallet, so I have to go back to the RV. Yeah, at Three Rivers, we had a tab open, so we could just, we didn't have to yeah. have our wallet. So now it's just like, we forget that we need money for things. Right. Heading back now. No. Oh. It's almost November, well, mid-October, and there's still flowers on here. And I thought that was so cool because I haven't seen any live flowers in a while. Aren't they beautiful? Wow. So yesterday, we were actually on top of that one. Like we hiked up that area. So we decided to check out the other side today. There should be some really cool cliff dwellings coming up here soon. Oh yeah, you can see some people going down into that one now. But we'll, we'll find a good one and then we'll go head down to the visitor center and get some lunch in a bit. Here's another wild creature. Oh my gosh, so this is the vegan burger. It looks so good. You said, what is this? Fried pepper, Fried pepper with cheese. Oh my God, I'm so excited. The salad and then Luke got the elk burger. It looks really similar, but elk. Luke is almost done with his burger. Was it good, the elk? Have you ever had anything like that before? Yeah, we gotta go because we have to walk that way to get to our house. Tastes like a... Yeah, enjoy yours. Have fun, okay? Yes, you too. Slightly more gamey hamburger. Yeah. yeah, but it was enjoyable. Saturday. Well, I've never had a burger so big that I had to cut it with a knife and pick pieces off to eat it. This thing was huge and this was a delicious addition with the chili pepper. What'd you get? Uh, lemon <gasps> tart and chocolate thing. Brownie, I think. Wait, does that have an L in it for Luke? Or for, for lemon? lemon. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, they put your name on it, your letter. Ooh. You, know, you, you didn't want nothing. Yeah, I want some I know of how this. girls are with sweets. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty much like this with anything that you get. I want to, I want to bite. I couldn't even finish my burger. But there's always room for dessert, right? Mm -hmm. I like lemon tarts. They had a key lime tart too, but mm. that's so rich and delicious. That's the lemon tart. Mm. Good. Mm. I mean, lemony and tarty. <laughs> just like it's supposed to be, right? Mm -hmm. So we just had lunch and then we found this perfect area for what we were looking for since we're starting to get into foraging and identifying plants. And there's this area with all of these plants and it tells you about them and what they were used for. Kind of amazing. This is a traditional orno used for baking. Some people still use it today. 
We can make hella good pizzas in here. I bet. Or bread. <gasps> oh. This structure here is called a kiva. It was a religious or social activity center. And of course it had a roof on it, but pretty neat. Here's some of the Kuleni Pueblo. And these were some of the places they lived. And more of them lived up there in the cliff dwellings. And we're gonna go visit those now. I'm really excited about this because when Luke told me we were gonna go to the national park, I did not realize that we were gonna get to climb up in caves. So yeah, pretty excited. Oh, so cool. Just look at it. So big. Wow. So I read about these holes. Apparently, I thought maybe like birds would make nests in them, which maybe they do, but they're not pecked out by birds. What happens is the wind swirls around and breaks it. Because I mean, this stuff is so soft, I can. But the wind swirls around, breaks it loose, and it like slowly over time drills into the stone. That is so cool. Pretty cool. Wow. It just breaks apart. Mm -hmm. Wow. Super soft. That's really soft. It's almost like styrofoam. Feel. Yeah. Wow. Like look. It's that ash, I guess, volcanic ash. Yeah, this is all volcanic ash. We're already on, yeah. All right, we are gonna climb up the ladder. And look at one of the old caves. Sometimes people would live in these, and sometimes they would use them for food storage. This is about a good size for you and I, babe. See how cool it is in here? It's actually quite cool in here. And what if they say, why is there like the black on the ceiling? Fires. So basically. This is honestly really cool, guys. Like, I would <laughs> totally freaking live in one of these. Oh, is this maybe for fire or food storage or just? Well, they put cement to prevent it getting worn down. Oh, okay. In here. So that's that's why they could see it so it doesn't wear out. Yes. Everyone would come in and out and just wears it out. So cool. Built out. Yeah. And those were just like back rooms, you know. So this is going to be the Talus house and it was reconstructed in the early 1900s just to show what the cave dwellings would have looked like with a front build. So maybe it would have looked something like this. Can't go inside, but kind of poke our heads in a little bit. See, maybe that was a fireplace. There's a back room. Pretty freaking cool. Wow, this is so neat. Luke just found a spooky face on the wall and it is October. That's pretty cute. He looks like a little monster skeleton. <laughs> this is so cool. Mm -hmm. Pathways kind of remind me like when you're at the amusement park and you're going up on the really really tall slide and there's tons of people yeah. and the metal shaking and you're just like hope I make it up there okay <laughs> they got that one's closed what happened yeah. Someone could have vandalized it. Maybe it's starting to break down and collapse. Who knows? 
closed due to vandalism. Come on. Come on you vandals. I bet those little dugouts were worthy. Yeah. Stoves, even. Yeah. For cooking. So you can see the black and how it would. We used to always make our forts where only kids could get in, parents could. So we make like the holes to get in real small. Okay, so right above these little holes, there's like a circle with a cross and some little symbols above and below. And then to the top left, there's like a little turtle. At least that's what it looks like to me. There's a little man. See the little hole? Yeah. There's a man. Oh, right I there. barely even saw that one. Wow, this is so cool. There's so many more photos on the small pictures. So I don't know how well you can see it, but um, there's the line of dots and then above a little ways, there is a circle of twisties. Uh, Luke spotted a turkey right up here or some kind of bird. Um, there's another one right there. Yeah, there's a lot of birds. There's actually a lot of pictures in these walls if you look. And this one here, I don't even know if you guys can see it on the camera, but there's this hole with all the rocks and then there's another hole above it. And to the top left, there's a man little face with nose eyes mouth he looks indifferent to the world around him and maybe like he's being elevated up into the sky by aliens i don't know maybe okay luke was saying that this is preserved painting and they put it behind glass but they found it when they were excavating so that's real very cool All right, concerned ape that created Stardew Valley game, what do you know? Because we're here and I see a bunch of these little guys carved in and they look just like the guys from the game. They look like the little aliens that grant you wishes. I don't know if you guys can see them on here, but there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight little guys. That's so cool. Well, it's a little past 4 p.m. and we're going to make the ascent back up the hill, mountain, plateau, canyon, whatever this is called. Today was awesome. We had so much fun. Huh? Did you yeah. have a blast? Yeah, totally worth it. So glad you brought us here. But yeah, thanks for hanging out with us, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and clip it here. But thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, let us know in the comments below and maybe let us know where you'd like to see us go next because we have so many places we want to visit.